Hello and welcome back. This is a really neat problem. So uh, we're going to be able to calculate molar mass from boiling point. And uh, it's kind of a surprise actually. So let's say we've got 5 grams of a solute and we add it to some water. So maybe we add it to 125 grams of water. So water is the solvent here. And uh, we have the boiling point of the solution now at 100.43 degrees C. And we're assuming that you know, we're at one atmosphere of pressure and everything. So the question is, what is the molar mass of the solute from that information? So um, it doesn't seem like we know how to do it, but in actual fact, we can. So how would we go about doing something like this? I guess we would probably start by just writing down the equations that we know. So we know that the boiling point elevation is equal to Kb times by the molar alcohol concentration. Um, okay, so what is the changing boiling point? Well, the changing boiling point, it went up. Okay, so we need to know how much did it go up by. So 100.43, and the regular boiling point of water, right, is 100.00000, whatever degrees Celsius. So we can see that it increased by 0 0.43 degrees C. So what is that telling us here? So in the equation here, we have this. Uh, KB, um, we can actually look up, right? So we can go back to our table and we can see KB for water is actually something like 0 0.512 degrees C per molal. So at this point here, we can definitely for sure calculate the molal concentration. So we rearrange the equation. So molal concentration is the increase in boiling point over KB. We've solved for the increase in boiling point. It is 0.43 degrees. And the boiling point constant for water is 0.512 degrees C per molal. And when we put all that together, we get the concentration of 0 0.840. In fact, uh, that last zero is a guard digit. We're not really supposed to write it down. And the units there are degree C over degree C per molal. So at the end of the day, we're just left with molal. Or uh, if you remember, molal is moles of solute per kilograms of solvent. So we got 0.84 moles of solute in every kilogram of solvent. All right, so how does that help us calculate molar mass? Well, molar mass, if you remember, is the mass of one mole. And you can also think about it as the mass in grams divided by the uh, moles in moles, so the chemical amount in moles. So if you just ratio mass to moles, you get molar mass. So of course, uh, if you had one mole, right, that mass up there would be exactly what the molar mass was. If you had two moles, that mass would be double, but that ratio would come back to give you the same thing. So all we need to do now is to make use of this. So what do we have up top? We are told there's five grams of solute. So the five grams, okay, we are given in the problem. So I suppose the only thing we need to do now is figure out how many moles of solute do we have. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use concentration as a conversion factor. So let me go ahead and see if I can't move the screen down. Just give us a little more, more room. Perfect. Okay. So how are we going to use concentration as a conversion factor? Well, we know that there's 0.84 moles of solute in every kilogram of solvent. And how many kilograms of solvent do we have? Well, we got 125 grams. That is 0.125 kilograms of solvent. We can use that as a conversion factor. In fact, uh, we can immediately just kind of write it out as is. So 0.84 moles of solute per one kilogram of solvent. Alrighty, so we got the kilograms of solvent cancelling out here, so uh, we can just essentially just multiply those two numbers together, and I get 0 0.105. Again, probably shouldn't have more than two significant figures here, so I'll just underline that zero there, so 0 0.105 moles of my solute. And of course, that's the last thing in the molar mass expression here, right? So if I go up here and I erase my question mark, and uh, I'm not sure, can I erase my question mark? There we go. I can now replace that with the 0.105 that I've calculated. And all I gotta do now is divide five grams by 0.105. And if we do that, we should get the molar mass. And by my calculator, we get 47.6 grams per per mole, and again, probably only two significant figures is permissible. So 48 grams per mole, I suppose, is at the end of the day what we should write. So we've used all this to calculate molar mass. So that was kind of surprising that we were able to do it. But uh, of course, if we just remember definitions and uh, we can just kind of finagle, you know, what we are given with what we need to end up with and uh, Bob's your uncle. And I would highly recommend you do some of these problems and you just pull some out of the end of the chapter and you try them. And after a while, you sort of get a feel 
feel for how these things are set up. So we'll try it with one more example uh, later on when we deal with osmotic pressure, but I think that's enough for now.